I'm back with a lipstick haul. Um, the past couple of months I've been collecting lipsticks like crazy. I've been more into lipsticks than anything and if you know or if you've seen my past videos you know that I usually collect like a lot of eyeshadows and things but I've been going lipstick crazy so um, I think seven of these lipsticks I got for like my birthday and then the let the rest of them they were just like over the summer or whatnot so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it the first one that I'm wearing is YSL number 19 the name of it uh, what's the name they have names but they're not listed on the lipstick they're like online but it looks like this it's a really pretty pinky purple kind of color um, I like to buy myself one YSL lipstick a year for my birthday, so this is the one that I picked up this year. So I really do love it. It's not fall inspired like the rest of my lipsticks are, but at Sephora they didn't have any, they didn't really have much selection of YSL lipsticks, or at least not for the dark, the darker skin color. So I just went ahead and went with pink. I was looking for burgundy, but I just went ahead and just went with pink. Okay, so the remainder of the lipsticks are all matte lipsticks, and they're mostly a part of their new collection. So this one is a part of the um, matte, the new mattes. I forgot what they call it, the mattes or something. It's just recently released, and this is damn glamorous. To be honest, the only reason why I got this lipstick is because I really did love the name of it. And this is like a hot pink. I don't know, it's like pink red. It's really pretty, but... And as I'm sure you know, it's always suggested to wear a um, lip liner so the lip color doesn't bleed. But I'm just putting these on just as they are on my lips just so you can see the color. So this is what it looks like. This reminds me a whole lot of Pleasure Bomb by Rihanna. This is more of like a pinky color than a red. This is really coming up red. But it's, it's really like a really deep pink it's it's I can't describe it it's just a really amazing color but this has um this looks a lot more pink but they look so much alike when I saw this or when I tried it on I was like this is like a dupe of pleasure bomb so if you did not um if you were not able to pick up pleasure bomb this would, damn glamorous would probably be the closest thing the closest thing so the next one I'm going to be showing you is from the Rocky Horror Picture Show collection um the packaging is super cute it looks like this Um, I was able to pick up all four lipsticks. It was a treat to myself for my birthday. So the first one I'm trying on is Strange Journey. So this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty orange, very deep orange color. I'm, I suck at describing colors, by the way, but this is what it looks like. If you were unable to get this, the closest thing that I can think will maybe match, kind of, sort of, is um, Max Chili, which is another matte color. I really do love this color. It's, it's very pretty and um, it's kind of similar to it. It's the closest thing I can think of. So the next color is another Rocky Horror Picture Show one, and this is Oblivion. It's a red color, but it's amplified. The other one was matte. I think this is the only amplify one that I have all the all of the other ones will be matte so this is what that one is looking like um, I really like this one because it's not a matte red. I think all of the reds that I have except for one of my, the Viva Glam Riri one, it's like a frost red. But this is the only red that I have that is amplified and I think that it's just going to be beautiful for, um, for the upcoming holidays. So I really do like this color. So the next one is another Rocky Horror Picture Show one. And this one is, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong because I know I will. This one is Frank Inferter. And I really do love this color. It's like kind of like a burgundy kind of color. Um, but it's really pretty. The um, the formula on their most recent mattes in this collection is amazing. It doesn't dry out your lips like some of the 
old school ones do. So they have definitely improved on the formula. So this is what it looks like, so pretty. I really do love this color. This is going to be, this is probably my favorite color out of the four lipsticks that I picked up. Some of their permanent colors may be similar, but since the formula is so rich and creamy, it's just, I really do love this lipstick. What I'm going to show you is another one of their new mattes. This is the one in Fashion Revival. So this is what the color looks like. It's a very pretty plum color. And once again, the formula is amazing. It doesn't dry out your lips. It's just awesome for these fall months. This color looks exactly like Rebel, which is one of their permanent colors. Um, except for Rebel, Rebel. Rebel is a satin color and this one is a matte. But the color is like exactly the same. So the next one is another burgundy and this is Heart of Flame and this is one of their new mattes. So this is what Hearts, is it Hearts or Heart? This is what Hearts of Flame looks like and to be honest with you, it does remind me a, a lot like Diva and Diva is also a matte. So, the only difference I would say is that Hearts of Flame is a little bit more red where the Diva one is like more of like a plum kind of color. The foundation is like wiped all off. Okay, so I'm almost done. The next one, which one? We're gonna get into the um, dark, dark colors. So, let's see. <laughs> I guess I'll show you Smoked Purple, which everyone was raving about. Everyone loves this color. This is more of like a vampy color for me. So there is Smoked Purple. Um, I don't know if I love it, to be honest with you. It's probably a little bit too dark for me, for my liking, but I'm sure it'll grow on me. And I'll probably like wear it, I don't know if I'll ever wear it out or something, but it's really dark, so I don't know. But this is what it looks like. I've seen it look just amazing on women of darker skin color. It just looks amazing. But for me, I don't know. My lips are real full and this is just probably a little bit too much for me. So we are down to my last three. The next one will be Sin from the Rocky Horror Picture Show Collection. And it looks like this. So this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. I really do like this color. And you know what? This is actually a permanent color. So if you missed out, you can probably end up saving a couple of bucks anyway because they do have this in their permanent collection and um, it's a little bit cheaper for the regular packaging. So. so the very last two that I picked up are Living Legend, which is the, a permanent matte color, uh, one of the new ones, and Lingering Kiss, which was limited limited edition from the a romantic novel collection and Heart to Flame was also a limited edition of that same collection if I said it was permanent. I lied, sorry. But um the reason why I'm holding these up side by side is because these are these look the exact same. It's like they put it's like they made Lingering Kiss a permanent color but just gave it a different name. And I'm gonna show you why because what I'm gonna do is put Living Legend, which looks like this at the top.
then I'm going to put Lingering Kiss right at the bottom. So these are the colors. Living Legend, permanent color at the top. Lingering Kiss at the bottom. And it looks, it's the exact same color. Nevertheless, both of the colors are really, really pretty. I think that Lingering Kiss is one of my favorite ones that I purchased this past summer. Um, so I am happy that I got, I guess, a dupe of it because it was limited edition and it was really hard to come across this. So it was a good idea for them to make it permanent because it's just a color that everyone loves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. So recently I just made a thousand subscribers. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me and watching my video. Upcoming, I do plan on doing a lipstick collection video where mainly I will be showing you organization of the lipsticks that I do have and things like that. So um, if you would like to see that, please stay tuned and thank you so much.